Hey, 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 YouTube, what's up, boys? It is your favorite mums here. Welcome back to the channel. So we've got a video for you today all about headliners, all right? I wanna show you guys, you know, the headliners promo, how they get upgraded and all about it, as well as, you know, investments you guys can make and how you can make money off of these headliners, all right, guys? Quickly, though, before I start, I just wanna let you guys know the YouTube is gonna be getting a bit of a revamp. You know, we started doing daily videos. We dropped off a little bit. Just because I want to, you know, I, I want to try and find a schedule for you guys and bring you out good content and regularly. So that's what we're starting to do now, right? So some of these videos, there's going to be trading videos here and make money making videos, but I'm also going to do some other kinds of videos, you know, maybe some card reviews, beg your pardon, some card reviews, you know, some pack openings, um, a bunch of different things. All right. So keep your eyes out. There'll hopefully be at least a post every, a, a video every day. If not, sometimes maybe two. So I think I will be dropping another video later on today. All right. Also guys, on, on top of that, I've started back on the Instagram, uh, you know, drive basically. So I posted these three new posts in the last, uh, like 12 hours. So I'm going to be posting twice a day on Instagram as well, man. So check that out. The links will be in the bottom below. All righty. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So we've just got the headliners promo. It came out at 6 p.m. UK last night. That is the team uh, we have received. Okay, so we got a Bruno. That Bruno looks really, really nice. Fabinho center back, which is a cool card. A little bit slow on pace, so I'm not sure how usable it's going to be, but it looks like a cool card. That Yetta, obviously, is going to be insane. Zhao Felix, Zaha. So overall, we got some pretty cool cards, I reckon. Um, there's a few, you know, cards you wouldn't really use, but I think in terms of the meta and cards that people are going to use a lot, that Bamba, that Felix, that Zaha, that Yetta, that Bruno, all look really, really nice, okay? So now what I want to explain to you guys is how these cards are going to get upgraded. So I'm going to show you this little image I made here for Instagram, which kind of gives you an idea uh, about it all, all right? So as you guys can see there here, how headliners work, right? So first of all, how headliners get selected. They get selected based on real life performances and cards that are currently in form, right? So one, they need to have a current um, a current in form card, okay? A current special card. So all these cards that you see here have gotten an in form or a team of the group stage or a, a card like that, all right? In FIFA already. Two, they need to be in real life form, all right? So playing really, really well in real life domestic football. So that's how they get selected. Now, the headliners are always gonna be one stat permanently above their highest performance card, all right? So if they've got an inform and their latest inform, say Fabinho, his late, he's got an inform, I think it is, his latest inform is an 87. So his headliner starts off as an 88. Ben yetta has got an inform, his latest inform is an 86. So he starts off as an 87. So they're always going to be one in form above their latest um, special card, right? Now, when I say performance cards, what do I mean by performance cards, guys? That is team of the weeks, man of the matches, hero cards, record breakers, and team of the tournament cards. Alrighty, so live cards don't count as um, performance cards, but if they get any of those cards I just mentioned, and you can see them below on the sheet next to me just there, then they will always stay one plus one above that special card, all right? So these are like really cool dynamics. They're kind of like OTWs in a sense, right? Because OTWs obviously upgrade with their special. So if I get have an 88 in form Werner, his OTW, and he's got an OTW, his OTW will be an 88. With headliners, they go one above that. So if there was an, a headliner uh, Werner, and he had an inform of a, uh, his highest inform was an 88. His headliner would be an 89. Now, what makes these cards even more special, guys, is the headliner will ha will stay plus two. So right now they're only staying plus one above their their last special card. They will stay plus two above their last special card if they get four domestic league wins in a row. Okay. Now it has to be domestic league. So some people get confused: Champions League, Europa League. All those matches do not count. It has to be in their domestic league, all right? So, for instance, Bruno Fernandes, the four wins must come in the Premier League, all right? Now, obviously, if they draw or they lose, the four wins start again. It needs to be four consecutive wins, back-to-back -back wins in a row to get an, a second upgrade, all right? 
So if Bruno goes and wins their next four games, no draws, no losses, they win their next four games, he will get another plus one and his 91 headliner will now go to a 92. Okay? And then every inform he gets, he'll always stay plus two ahead of that performance card if he's already got his four wins, all right? You can't lose that. So once you get your four wins, they go plus two. Even if they lose the fifth game, it doesn't matter. They stay plus two, all right? And the position of the card will always stay the same. So Fabinho will stay as a center back no matter what. And if one of these cards gets traded or loaned out, they will only change their team if they get an inform with their new team. So if Zaha, this is just a pure example, obviously this isn't going to happen, but if Zaha were to go to Liverpool on trade, then I'm a Liverpool fan, guys, then obviously um, he would stay as a Crystal Palace card until he got an inform with Liverpool and then his headliner would turn into a Liverpool card, all right? So that's basically how headliners work. What I want to go through now with you guys is basically how we can make some money off of these uh, off of these cards and just how it all works basically, okay? So first of all, let's have a quick look over here. Now this is FIFA 20 uh, headline tracker from last year. This shows you there was two teams. So this was the first team we got. As you can see there, it had like Neymar and stuff like that. And this was actually team two. I don't know if this is going to be a two-week promo again this year because obviously team of the year and everything like that and it keeps getting pushed back. So maybe it ends up being a one-week promo. But I think a two-week promo makes sense. The fact that they didn't give us a lot of cards in the first team of the, in the first headliner thing, there's only what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. Uh, I think we will get another eleven or so in uh, next week, all right? So I do think there'll be a team two, but that is not certain. Now... As you can see here, guys, this shows you how the cards got upgraded. So day one is when it started on the 17th of the first last year. So he only got, he didn't get any more informs. He just got an upgrade for the four wins. You've got someone like Lewandowski who got his first upgrade on his headliner because he got a team of the week. He got, his second upgrade was due to four wins. Then he got another upgrade from another team of the week. And then a fourth upgrade because he got a man of the match. All right. Salah just got the one upgrade because of four wins. So this kind of shows you, all right? So tells you the dates and everything. So this is also a hand site. Just have a look if you want to look at last year. And I was using it to look and compare these cards with their graphs. So as you can see, I've got three cards up here. I just picked three random ones. Timo Werner, Kyle Walker, and Dries Mertens. Now, these cards can be really easy to make money off, guys. They're kind of like OTWs in the sense, OTWs are quite easy to make money off, right? Now, OTWs, if they lose a game or if a player does not perform well, usually they drop in price straight after that game. And then they rise into their next game because people start buying them in the hope they score a goal and they go up a lot of money or they get an upgrade, all right? So people would like to gamble with them. So you can make good money you know, with OTWs anyways, picking them up straight after their game if they have a bad performance and then selling them into their next game and things like that. These are kind of similar, all right? Because obviously they do get upgrades based on informs. So if they're going to get an inform, they're going to go up in price because people think they're going to get an inform if they play well, right? But then you've also got to look at the four games, you know? If they're winning, like if they've won three games in a row, their price is going to stay high because people are waiting for that fourth win. So things like that, right? Runs, it all comes into account. Now, the cool thing with these cards is they're like a roller coaster, okay? As you can look at the graphs. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Same with Kyle Walker. Look at these. Look at some of these drops and then the pickups. Look, down, up. Dries Mertens as well. Look at all these little, like, you know, plateaus and then and then uh, bounce back ups and stuff like that, all right? Look at that. Nice word there, bounce back ups. You guys get it. Um, so they're really easy, not easy, but they're, they're easy to make some money off. You can make some really good money off them, all right? This is a card that didn't get an inform or a special card, or four wins at all, I think, throughout the year. Let me have a quick look, Werner. I don't think this guy got upgraded at all. So there, I'll say, so he just got a winter upgrade on the 14th of the second. He got a winter upgrade, which is right here. So we actually got an upgrade here. So I would actually take this part out of it. Because what, what you're going to see here, oh, sales Merton's. 
Stupid. 14th of the second. So right here, that's where he rose a lot. So he rose going into that upgrade because people knew it was coming before dropping off. All right, so what you're going to find, guys, is you're going to see a little, lot of these ebbs and flows with these cards. For starters, if a card's on a run, if a card, say, won three games in a row and then they lose their fourth game, you're going to find a lot of people jumping off the card. People are like, oh my God, he's just lost. I have to wait another four games in a row before he gets an upgrade. You're going to get people selling. So there's times like that, right, where you can buy. You know, if if you've got a card like, uh, you know, Bruno, Manchester United or a Liverpool card, you know, you know, there's a good chance they're going to get their four wins in a row. If they lose a game after their three wins and they, they're going to drop a lot and you see them drop a lot, guys, you can pick them up. And as they each win, they're going to get higher and higher. It's kind of what happens here. With each win, they just kind of rise, all right? Because people are preempting. They get one win. It's like, okay, they're only three wins away from their upgrade now. They get two wins. They're only two wins. And as, you know, as it gets closer to that upgrade, the price starts going up as well. All right, it's the same with performances. If a card has a really good performance, they're going to go up in price. And if you want to get really smart with it, guys, you can look at runs, okay? If you see, for instance, Fabinho, and you, you think, okay, I want, to, I want to trade with that card or invest with that card, right? If you see that he's got, you know, Man City, Man United, uh, Tottenham coming up in their run, then a good move is to maybe wait to after those games, right? Wait till they lose. Say they lose their... their their game, right? Say they lose a game then against like Tottenham. And then their next four run, run of games is like, you know, Fulham and Burnley and uh, Brighton and teams like that, guys. They've got a favor run. You're going to see this price go up quite steadily because people are going to start to notice that, okay? So if you can get in early, you can make some really, really good money, all right? So obviously, I don't want to overload you guys with information. We will go through, you know, as the, as the promo goes, I'll try and keep you guys updated with maybe we'll do a spreadsheet of um, cards and their, their records and if they're winning and losing and who's close to getting an upgrade. But definitely keep an eye out, all right? If you see a card really high and you see it just plummet because maybe they lost a game, they were on a two or three game winning streak and they lose, and you see it plummet, that's always a good opportunity to pick that card up all right, into their next run of games. Sometimes it can be a bit of a longer hold, but I mean, it can be worth it, all right? So an example here, I know you guys can't see this, but Timo Werner, they lost a game. He dropped down to, uh, at one point here, 364,000 coins within, let me have a look how many weeks that is. One week, two weeks. So within three weeks, and that's because I'm pretty sure they won two or three games in a row, he went up to 504,000. So he went from 367 to 504. So yes, that is a two to three week wait, but is also a large increase, like 150,000 coin increase, right? And he increased every week. So I mean, you could have even just picked up, if you wanted to be quick, picked up when he dropped down to the 367 and then sold a week later, he was already back up at like 430 a week later. So that's like a 60K increase anyways a week later, all right? But like I said, we'll keep you guys updated with these. I just wanted to run you through this promo and uh, let you guys know how these cards get upgraded and what to kind of look for and what you're in for. Hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, smash a like, guys, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.